Do you need to start? I'll continue. Okay. So, so hal kul hal hatta hisa haja ilka banwalinya. Wah, badan balaga balaga berangkara tarik tu Somaliet iyo waktu gas mukta iyo waktu gas alka lakata iyo. Lakin tawan hisa alka nawa ad bo ukroh berangihi. Ani yo wahan ad uja alai. ما هو بو إن ضبطه إن يقاني لكن ما نضيق بقاري شرسي وأنا قط ما له موقع شو على كل الواحد يتري وسمكو دلعي وسمكو دلعي ألن كان وسارا ألن كان وسارا شو ماليودن شو ماليودن كلا سوي مينو دعني ما هيتري وما كلا سو كينو Hello Senado, umat kalau suka no Hello Senado. Tapi kalau hati fikir anda, mungkin kalau kerja betul tak nawa dah ada hari yang dapat waktu gas. Zuruf tu bahun, mungkin zuruf tu kawan istimar ke wahai ketek wahai ketegena wahbanan ahun. يعني ده بدين ده طبعا حتى سياسيين في سوماليا حال كودا اوكي تاسفا مركلة وانكا شيكا ذكرنا مركلة هذا ما تتكلم عنك عن تلميذ يالك وانك في سوماليا حتى سوماليا موكا لما كل من نوايو واحد نمانكا برنامج كي يجي مليان فل بحيث موكا لكن هذه لا يراه دو مركلة وانك سونا قنية ده بدين وانك جعلان لها كوميونيتي اندا كل مو ان الله شيكا ذو قرحان موكا هاي Dari yang rada iyo, wayu ani gua eska mau kah afsumari gaya, eska jabur, pasti disinjui okale mau kah. So iya ga iyo ani gua mau kah, isko herban hai mau kah jawab ni isko ni karena wah herban ha inan dirio, wayo lama mau kah kof kof adana ada wah yarta barang kertas. Idin kuna wah 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 si barang kertas mau kah afsumari batin, wah maklisa afsumari marwal wayo. Hal kul hal wanja alai dari yang rada. يعني وحن أمرين يا محبدو يعني دليا ردي إن بدن وايفا أخمان أو سماليا لكن إن بدن كما حبلان لكن هذا سماليا تيجي لهايين أما سمالي لان تك دك بأيو برانشري لهايين لكن حال كل حال Dekat bukit bukit cerah mau kita afkan. Jadi kita mau kita kalau begini aku hayan. Mar mar mau kita waiska mau kita wajarannya yang ada aku hadlan na. Odi asyu wah wah hairah na. Wallahi wajah murni insan wah kamat wah mata kanin. Ada insan aku hadlin na. Tapi tu wah wala anane. Cuma wala an wala ain. Ya wala ain. وأخسدوا إني ما شاء الله thank you إن الله إن واشك سلينا هذنا وحنا أركيا إن عشرة بحندون تد وجوجا إن شاء الله إن شاء الله هذه العيدة وبعد ما تنتهي ما ما تنو مركل إن شاء الله إن شاء الله شكرا مع السلامة الله and Abdib Rahman Duali Bailey, Minister of Finance for Somalia. Now I would like to invite Minister Bele to kick off the first of our two talks. <coughs> Good morning, everybody, and thank you very much, uh, Madam, for introducing me to, to the panel. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here talking about fragility. Uh, I'm sure everybody's aware of where Somalia is when uh, fragility is spoken about. <clears throat> Somalia is one of those known to be fragile, and we have been fragile for a long time. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about the history, but the, the fact remains that Somalia uh, I think it's the only one country in the history, of, in the modern history of our uh, universe that had no recognized government for 20 years. No recognized government. In every fragile country that you see, there is always some government. 
that deals with the rest of the world. But Somalia for 20, 20 years had no recognized government. You can, you can imagine what that means. Total suspension of law and order. Everybody, everything goes. That's why you saw Somali people running all over the place, running to our neighboring countries, across the oceans, and going everywhere. Uh, now, uh, that, that's a history that we have to learn from. And I think we have learned from that history. Uh, where we are today is far away from that. And if you rate fragility from one to four, uh, four being the, the most severe one, I think we are now one. Uh, well, we, have, we have climbed that ladder. I want to also say that uh, it, it is very important to recognize those who are with you, supporting you when you are, when you are in need. And that is the international community, uh, uh, most important among, among which is the, the, the International Monetary Fund and, and, and the other institutions. Now, uh, we have recognized uh, that where we were, a very dark corner of the world was not sustainable. And therefore, we came together, the Somali people and their government, and we decided to do something about it. I really think that uh, our pivotal moment, uh, we have two pivotal moments. One is today afternoon. We have the round table that will lead us to decision point. Very important day for us today in the afternoon. And, and we are waiting for what the international community will say about the future of Somalia. The second pivotal moment for us was two, uh, 2012, when the first government in Somalia was recognized. It was a rebirth of that country, 2012. Not very far back. And, and from there on, we were able to engage with the international community, and particularly with the IMF. I mean, you cannot imagine when the IMF says, I don't want to talk to you, and, and they go away. It is really a, a death sentence when the IMF does not want to talk to you, because nobody else will talk to you. No, I mean, you don't want to be fragile to understand that. You really don't want to do that. Uh, therefore, uh, we have been dealing with the IMF program for the last number of years. Every year is becoming better than the other. Of course, with the capacity building and the assistance from the same institutions, IMF and the World Bank and the others. Where we are today, we are today very happy to have moved from that severe fragility to something that can be, sustain can be sustained. We have now established our institutions. We today, every ministry has a house, a place, an office. Every ministry has some staff. Every ministry has some budget. And, and therefore, we look like a nation. We look like a nation that came from the dust uh, just a few years ago. Uh, we have been doing uh, the uh, benchmarks of the IMF uh, staff monetary program for those number of years. And, and we are concluding the first part, important part, of the S&P 4 uh, UTC compliant, uh, uh, com compliant uh, uh, SMB program by the end of this year. And we hope and we are hoping and we are all working together from the president on down uh, to be able to reach a decision point. You know what a decision point means. It is very important that we reach that. That means that it is a day uh, our creditors and our, and our partners will decide uh, that Somalia has traveled enough and therefore we sit down and talk about canceling the debt, do, uh, managing the debt, doing something with the debt. And that is February next year is what, what, we, have, what we have decided. Now, uh, <clears throat> I, I, I really think if there is one factor or two factors that I would say are very important for you to address your fragility, uh, uh, fragility is good governance, good leadership. It is extremely important that the president of a nation, or whoever the head is, is committed to taking that country out of the, uh, out of the problem. First, good understanding of where you are. No, no hiding, no hiding behind the bush, but good understanding where you are, good vision, a good group of people to work with you, and you have to steer fast, uh, co continue t uh, taking that country out. Good government and good governance is number one element, in my view, for you to get out. Number two, good understanding between the government, administration, and the public. So you can bring them together. A trust, what I call trust, that the government is trusted by, their, by the people. It's only then that they pay taxes. It is only then that, that they pay taxes. Trust means we, we discuss everything 
we consult everything. Whatever taxes you, you collect, you also share with them the way you are using it, that money. The way you, and so once you get the trust and you have good leadership, forget about the fragility. You will move. Regardless of the challenges you have, uh, you will move. The third issue I would say is trust of that government with the international community. You have to be trusted. And when you sign something, you have to hold to your part. You have to hold to your part. And expect others also to, to hold your part. These are three issues, I thought, are very, very important for us to, to deal with the, with the fragility. Now, the positive side on Somalia. Somalia had major issues, but what do we have today? We have a very vibrant diaspora bringing in money. You cannot imagine two to three billion a year. Diaspora converted into business people elsewhere because of the nature of the Somali as a trader. As a trader, Somali goes as a refugee and builds business. And, and that is what it is. That, that's what, what they have done. That, that's one issue. The, the second uh, benefit that we had, the skills coming back, the skills coming back from across the world. Uh, I, I was being told the other day that there is a fa family in my neighbor. And somebody came from Nor Norway, some of the family, some came from UK, some came from uh, uh, another place, and, and they are all together and they cannot understand each other. They cannot understand each other because different, different, uh, different languages. But all that is bringing uh, different cultures that are very useful for this country to, 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 to thrive. Today we are talking about trade, we are talking about trade, we are talking about Horn of Africa, regional integration, and, and we are looking forward to that. now. We are expecting the IMF and the international community to be with us in our final push to go to the decision point. And today, a roundtable meeting is very important. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. My time is up. I want to bring you in here. Um, we saw that the World Bank estimates that on average it takes 17 years to exit from a fragile situation. So looking ahead as to the sort of steps that you have taken um, in Somalia and have continued to take in rebuilding institutions, including the Central Bank and the Ministry of Finance, what are going to be your policy priorities going forward? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we have been uh, <clears throat> in the, on that road of fragility for much longer than 17 years. Uh, but luckily, over the last uh, four years, I think we have uh, jumped very far ahead of other countries and uh, uh, because of the realization by the government and by the public Somali people uh, that we should uh, get out of the problem that we were that we had at one point uh, the Somali name Somalia was converted into a bad term so if you see a country that is falling apart uh, they will call Somalization of that country Somalization of this, Somalization of that, but now that, that no longer, that, all that got to us. And therefore, we had to do something about this. Uh, we now are in a, in a position uh, where we uh, collect taxes, where there were no taxes, uh, uh, domestic revenues, uh, where we know exactly how many people working in the government, and where we know uh, their accounts, uh, we transfer money to their accounts, where we pay everybody that is employed. Uh, where we have been able to uh, identify the names and numbers of all the soldiers, all the security, and, and we know where they are, who is working and who is not working. We have come a long way, and, and, and I, I think we did all that with the assistance of the IMF and the World Bank and the international community. Uh, our priority now, our priority, the number one priority, is to deal with the debt, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, the, to, to, to clear the debt with the international community. And, and that is what we're working on, because otherwise we will not get access to resources. This country has to be allowed to get access to concessional resources by the IFIs, uh, basically the World Bank, IMF, and the African Development Bank, and be able to rebuild the country. That is really, we are in the mood to rebuild the country. Uh, no, no longer thinking about fragility and what happens. People are coming back. Uh, I mean, the land is becoming very valuable everywhere in Somalia. So that fragility thing, we want to, we want to uh, send it to some other place, fragility, and, and finish with it. <laughs> so we need the IMF and the World Bank and others also to continue, continue supporting us, really, really. We, we are very thankful. We realize that if not because of them, uh, if they have not come to our aid, we would have been in, in difficulty. It would have taken us much longer. That has to be realized.
and certainly rebuilding from different situations as uh, Minister MQ.